If you're using a tower in an area where members of the public or other rail workers could walk by, this will have been risk assessed during the planning stage. Your manager will have taken into account any additional changing risks it presents. But what are the potential risks? Well, someone could be hit by a falling object, such as a tower component dropped during assembly or dismantling, or tools, materials or other equipment that fall during work. If you leave the tower unattended, an unauthorised person could gain access, causing damage to the tower or a risk of falling from height. And remember that people don't expect your tower to be there. In the rush to catch a train or when there are lots of people embarking and disembarking at once, there's a chance someone could bump into your tower and cause an accident. So how do you keep the public and fellow rail workers safe from your tower and vice versa? Firstly, make sure your tower is always segregated from public footfall by using physical barriers to keep people away from the structure. A sign isn't enough because you can't rely on people knowing the sign is there or being able to read it. Your barriers must encompass the tower's stabilizers. And if the barriers have feet, make sure they aren't a trip hazard. Secondly, always use tow boards. These prevent tools and other objects falling from the tower platform. These videos are not a substitute for PASMA training. If you're working on towers, you must be competent to use them for work at height. If you're assembling, inspecting, moving, altering or dismantling towers, or supervising work on towers, you should be PASMA trained. For more tower safety information and resources, visit pasma.co.uk.